all right friends welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel 9 and v3 application and in this video i will show you how we can add bulk delete feature in our application so first of all let me give you the final demo of how it really looks so here we have the list of users and either we can select all these users and delete those selected users or we can select specific users that we want to delete so if i clicked on these three users and you click delete selected then it will delete those three users and if I want to delete all three users, then I can select all these users and click on delete selected and it got deleted successfully. So throughout this video, we'll be building this exact thing. So now let's get started. So first of all, let's start by adding checkbox and delete selected button over here. So let me go to user list dot view component and then let me add checkbox uh, over here input type checkbox and we added that checkbox now we need to add checkbox on every uh, user item so for that let me go to user list item component and then over here let's add another checkbox input type checkbox and we have checkbox on every users right now let's add delete selected button over here so let me go to user list and then over here let me wrap this uh, two button inside of one main div let me add another button and let's call this as delete selected and when user click on this button let's call the method call bulk delete and instead of button primary let's change this class to button danger and we have this button let's give some margin left and this is perfect but we want to show this button when we have some selected users right otherwise we'll not be showing this button so let's do that part let me go to user list item over here and over here let's listen for the change event and call the method call toggle selection and let's define this method toggle selection and inside this method let's emit the event call toggle selection and let's pass the user from props.user uh, but uh, we do not have that props defined so let's define that which is perfect now we we'll need to listen to that event called toggle selection right and in our parent component we have this and we need to listen for toggle selection and call the method called toggle selection okay now let's create that method over here toggle selection will receive the user and inside this will perform the operation first of all let's define the state called selected users and let's make this as empty array and from here we can push the selected users to this state so for that we can do selected users that value as we are using reactive reference and then push user dot id now let me do console dot log and then selected users dot value so let me show you something let me open up the console and let me clear this now if i click on this checkbox we have the selected id which is 106 if I click another one, we have this another ID. But if I click again, then we are having some repeated ID, right? So let's make this unique. So for that, we need to add conditional. So let's define the index. And over here, let's do selected users dot value and find the index of the user ID. So first of all, let's find the index of this user ID from selected users and then we can add if conditional over here. If the there is no index found, 
if we do not find that id then we'll be pushing uh, id to the selected user's value push user id otherwise uh, we need to remove that id if already exists so we can do selected users dot value let's call this splice method and we want to remove this index and one item right now let me remove this and then refresh it again let me click on this checkbox 106 we have another id but if i uncheck it then that id got removed which is perfect and we need to show this delete selected button uh, when we have some selected users right so for that we can add a conditional for delete uh, selected button over here you can do v if selected users dot length is greater than zero now uh, we do not have that button but if i uh, select this user then we saw this delete selected button which is perfect now we need to listen for that uh, click event on this button and perform the access request so we have already listened for the click event and let's define that bulk delete button over here const bulk delete and inside this we'll perform the xus call so let's do xus dot delete and the endpoint is api slash users we haven't defined this endpoint we'll define that endpoint and we'll pass the data and inside this we'll pass the ids and the ids will come from selected users that value right and let's add the then block then we'll receive the response and for now let's do alert deleted now let's define this endpoint let me go to web.psp file route delete slash api slash users and user controller class call the bulk delete method on it let me go to this class let me go to the end let's add the method called bulk delete and over here we'll perform the delete operation so for that let's do user where in the id is from the request ids and let's call the delete method on it and finally we'll return the response json message is users deleted successfully let me fix this response and if i dd over here with request ids then we'll get those ids first of all let me show you that let me select this click on delete selected let me go to network tab over here we have this ids right which is perfect let me remove this now let me close this let me select these two users and click on delete selected and we are receiving the alert called deleted but we are not uh, deleting from our ui right but if i refresh it those users got deleted from our database now let's work on implementing the ui for it so let me go to user list and on this then block we can perform some javascript operation so here we can do users dot value dot data a calls users dot value dot data and filter through each user and return the user where selected users did value does not includes the user id and finally we can show the toast notification using toaster dot success users deleted successfully now let me save this let me try this let me select this user click on delete selected then that user got deleted which is perfect but there is one issue we are still seeing this delete selected button because we have not cleared the selected users uh, value right so after this let's clear the selected users dot value and set this as empty array and for this message we can also receive from the 
response response to data dot message now let me try this let me select these two users click on delete selected then that two users got deleted and we do not see that select deleted button which is perfect to make the video shorter let me end this video and in the next video we'll be working on adding select all features over here so when you click on this checkbox then it will select every users and will perform the delete operation on it so i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one